Hey guys, welcome to season 10, episode 22 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. Power on. There's only two episodes left. Is somebody there? It's me. Why are you running? Danny, what happened? Okay. Hey, baby girl, what's good? Hooray, happy breathing. I wasn't invited. What's the occasion? I uh, just had a room with JJ. Oh, that's boring. See, couldn't you just make something up, satiate my fabulous, filthy imagination? Yeah. Well, the flight is super long and Hotch wants everyone to meet on the plane, so get your hustle on. Oh. All right, it's the highlights. Oh, yes, I can do that happily. Although Four miles. Since there are three murder victims in the last three days. Okay, Ooh. so Nate Cochran, 46, was found this morning. He was an accountant, resident Van Nuys, married, two children. Now, with him was Tasha Brooks, 22 years old, cross victim. His name is Gary Fisher. Uh, he was shot in his Jaguar 13 times, also in the face. He was 42. He was a banker. Uh, he lived in Studio City, divorced. Ballistics are an exact match to the victim's found this morning. And this Fisher guy was found below? Yes, but he was found in there, known for blow pops and backdoor quickies. All right, we're on our way. Happy trails, my heroes. Rachel. Thank you. Patricia's mad at me. Patricia! I just miss my mom so much. That's why you have to keep going. And find that son of a bitch who took her away from you. The whole world needs help, Danny. Just like you're here for us. It is a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe, that lures him to evil ways. Buddha. There are two Johns and a Hooper, and no apparent connection between any of them. Yeah, he doesn't rob him or care if the bodies are discovered. Maybe that he's angry? Yeah, he's using a 45 caliber weapon, and with each victim he fired 13 shots. It's most Jeez. Like every round in the magazine and the one in the chamber. It's basically overkill with a handgun. Yeah, it was some other girl, and she got away. Presuming it is a woman. Either way, that means there's someone out there that may have seen the unsell. And the first That's true. I'm finding that person. Yeah, good luck getting them to say something. Can't thank all of you for coming. Hey, Parrish, Tasha Brooks' pen calls himself Sweetness. Oh, come on now, that was Walter Payton's nickname. That's just wrong. Like I told the cop to drag me up here, I work at a car wash. You've been picked up for pandering oh, before, oh, Eddie. <laughs> probation and a hundred hours of community service. Call, wash. Yo, what y'all doing with my mama's bank statements, man? <laughs> a few months ago, right after you got off probation, she started making some cash deposits. You never know what they're gonna find if they dig a little deeper. Y'all leave my mama alone, all right? Uh, come on, now, sweetness. You know the deal. You gotta play ball. <laughs> Damn, is there anything y'all don't know? What y'all need me for? We need you to tell us who killed her. Who killed her? <laughs> she did? Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all don't think it was me? <laughs> Should we? Yo, yo, I ain't killed nobody, man. No, 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 no. I swear to God, I got alibis. I ain't never seen him. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. I ain't never seen him. I don't forget no faces. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is over there by the river. Tasha never got down over there. Too far. Bad cell signal. Y'all need to talk to the girls that were east of Alameda. But can you get these pictures out of my face now? All right. You usually work east of Alameda, over by the river. You ever seen this man? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Do you want to maybe take another look? Okay, I'm sure, baby. I remember all the cute ones. Like you. <laughs> oh, God. I won't forget you. Oh, you're fine, dude. <laughs> oh. Do you ever work east of Alameda, over by the river? It's okay. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Have you ever seen this man before? No. Never. Sure. <laughs> Positive. Were you working last Saturday? No, I was home. You want to you want to stop lying? I just told you I've never seen him before. Can I go now? I'm not under arrest, right? And I'm not wearing yeah. a hat. Okay. Look at him, he's drunk. He can't go out there. He's fine. I can hear you guys. We're just worried about you. I'm okay. I'm not. You so, really scared me last night. Are you both encouraging him? Blood? This is our neighborhood. We live here. Just be careful, okay? So he's Honestly? after something completely different. I promise. <laughs> hey, you want a ride? No, thank you. Thanks. Not a problem. Where to? Just take a left here. So, um, how old's your little boy? Six. Oh, mine too. You know what, Lizette? Doing this job, sometimes you get feelings about people. And the one thing I've learned is that when you get that feeling, you better listen. You are caught in a bad situation and you are scared. Uh -huh. Mostly for Santi. So when I showed you that picture, you lied. Because you thought that was the best way to protect him, but it's not. Come on. Look, I met him. I didn't, I didn't do it, okay? No one you thinks you did it. You believe me. Just tell me what happened. Okay, uh, the man that you showed me picked me up last Saturday. We got in the back seat. Suddenly the window was smashed. He started pulling him from the car and he let orders go. He was kicking his ass and yelling. He was wearing a hoodie, but I'm pretty sure he was white. He was so it's like a shooting like red. So it's like you kind of turned into like a damn. It didn't have anything to do with it. You have to believe me. Please don't take my son away from me. Please don't take my son away from me. Yo, 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 yo. You're good. Okay. Seems like a vigilante. Turning into a vigilante. But he's he's kind of lost it. Profile. He's gaining confidence with every kill. 
And as his confidence grows, so will his belief in his cause. The vast majority of these type of serial crimes, the murderer usually doesn't go down easily and isn't apprehended alive. But so far, he's been smart enough to run away before the cops show up. So we need you to tell the working girls, your informants, anyone else out on the street to keep a lookout. And please proceed with extreme caution. This guy is strapped with a 45 caliber and he's not afraid to use it. So if you think you have a line on him, do not try to be a hero. Call for backup. All right, guys, let's get to it. Perfecto. She was a great lady, your mom. I remember when we first moved in. I never knew a landlord could be so nice. It's not fair. She should still be here. She didn't deserve that. That's not fair, Danny. I know that! He is losing it! I get that you're hurting, but you don't need to take it out on us. We miss her too, you know? But it's your fault he was even around. Don't you dare blame me for this. He was your ex. He was here looking for you. You should be the one that's dead. You know what might make you feel better? Oh my god. Cleaning this place up. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Thought it was something else. That's actually wrong, you know? You're the only one that's gonna find him, Danny. Stop encouraging him! Your mom would be proud of you. Mm, don't think so. Go ahead, Garcia. So, Greer Debatable. Some delving into the latest victims and uh, get ready for a big paradigm shift regarding the personality of Lamar Taylor. She was his high school teacher, but he was a super average kid. He had trouble at home, and Claire helped him. She helped him through school, she helped him graduate. So there's no way that was a murder? No. Black kid, white lady, he probably racially profiled the situation and just jumped to conclusions. We need to alert the press and warn the public. Thanks, Garcia. Wait, so... Okay. I wonder if he saw it that way. Thanks for coming. Like he had some kind of... Ta -da. Couldn't see it properly. The roses make your eyes look beautiful. I, I mean, they're already beautiful. I mean, with the flowers, they're more beautiful. Please don't go to work. It's too dangerous. He's still out there. But I can't keep calling in sick. They're gonna fire me. So what? It's better than ending up with my mom. But Danny, I have to work. What if you didn't have to pay rent? What are you talking about? The house is paid for, right? I, I don't want your money. And with what I make at the restaurant, I, I can feed us all. You would do that for us? I would do anything for you. Hmm. I can't, I, I honestly, I can't believe they're just encouraging this nice man to job. go That's hunt for advice. this guy. Stick with me, kid. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm SSA Jennifer Giroux. Due to a recent string of shooting deaths, we now have reason to believe the vigilante is on the loose. Oh, are they uh, talking about you? It had to be about you, right? They don't understand. I'm trying to help. If they would just do their jobs, I wouldn't need to do it for them. Oh, boy. You got a problem, bro? What are you looking at? Yeah, that's what I thought. Walk away, bitch. <laughs> Oh god. Something tells me that's not what was going on. My name's Lindsay Cooper. He left a witness this time. He's kind of sloppy. She in any condition to talk? She looks pretty freaked out. You know, she keeps clenching her jaw, drinking water, and can't seem to sit still. I think she's on something, and I'm assuming it's MDMA. All right, Kate, you and JJ, see what you can find out from her. What? And then you and Morgan go to the crime scene. Look, we know that this all has to be pretty freaked out. And I'm sure it probably doesn't help that your heart is still racing from the molly you popped earlier. Oh. I started rolling really hard and we went outside and we smoked a cigarette and we were kissing. That's what I thought. He saw it. 
This guy came out of nowhere and he started beating that girl. He was screaming. He thought I was being raped. Go away, girl. You son of a bitch. Stop! My boyfriend. I told him to stop and he wouldn't. Please. He took out a gun and he started shooting it. I didn't know what to do. I just left my boyfriend there and I just ran. That's not good. Did you get a good look at him? Why the shift? He's getting more and more bold. Or he's losing his grip on reality. Maybe this isn't drug related. What if this guy's actually delusional, as in the paranoid schizophrenic variety? He's definitely delusional. Well, this could be a psychotic break. Oh my god. Give me. No, 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 no. You stay away from me. You okay? What happened? You know that. Daddy, if you don't call them, I will. Oh no. What? Oh no. Oh no. You're not calling anybody. Daddy? Okie dokie, Archokie. The pokey victims of violent crime in Los Angeles over the last five years. That is one. Specifically, Risperidone, Olanzapine, Haloperidol. Oh, okay, okay. Hey guys, brain drugs, right. Uh, okay, okay, that's a still unmanageable 2,948 names. Alright, now check within a five mile radius of the kill zone. Hey, that's more like six names. Scratch that, two names because two died and two moved out of state. What's that leave us with? Herman Koldek, 68 year old Vietnam vet with severe PTSD who was stabbed during a robbery, and Sandra Cunningham, 40 year old cashier with bipolar who was the victim of a rape. Those two don't exactly fit our profile. Do no. any of the six people on your list have relatives that still live in the area? Schizophrenia, a year ago she was shot and killed in a burglary. Her son, Daniel Lee Stokes, still lives in the building that she owned. What else you got on this guy? Uh, he's 24, he works as a part time bus boy that's, at a that's Mexican it. restaurant with really good Yelp reviews. Cassie, did they ever catch the guy that shot his mom? No, no, never. But, hello, thickening plot. The, the prime suspect of said shooting was Patricia Valdez's ex, David Ruiz. He is currently in the custody of the San Diego Sheriff's Department, awaiting trial for armed robbery. You got a picture of Stokes? Uh, yeah, he's two years behind him. He's been he's looking for someone who's him. not even out there. Let's yep. see, we need an address. <laughs> Dude's just trying to deliver mail. That won't help. It'll only make it worse. Shut up! I didn't ask you what you thought! Did I, Patricia? Patricia, he hasn't been there. No, that's right, I did not. I wonder if they've been hostage this entire time. It helps me with my headaches. You would take your meds. You promise. Or maybe they're already dead. You're really scaring me, Danny. Daniel, we know you're in there. Oh my! Well, he's about to run out of ammo. I love you, can't you see that? They're dead or they're not there. I love you. I think they're dead. Who's there? She's with me. We're still out here, Daniel. Oh my. Can you hear that? There's more of us coming, man. Shit! Stay back! How about Melina, Daniel? She in there too? Yes, I she is. Quiet. Shh. Don't speak. Daniel, we know about your mom. I can take you right to him if you want, but you have to come out first. 
We got units in the back ready to go in. I was on my head. All right, Daniel, if you have Patricia Molina in there, do the right thing and give yourself up. Come on, man, listen to him. Daniel, there's cops everywhere out here. You can't protect them from that, but we can. Oh, man. This is a mess. Please, do Give up. You know what? She's right, Daniel boy. Oh, no. Get away. Yo, I need a cigarette. You got a cigarette? No, oh, no. It better not be methylated, neither. Yeah, I got one. She doesn't need the cigarette. Oh, no. No, 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 no give her the light. She doesn't need the cigarette. No, Danny, don't do it. They're wrong, Danny. Don't say that, Danny. It's not. Patricia and Melina. Protect them, please. I can't protect them if you don't tell me where they are, Daniel. Outside of the flowers. Didn't care about his other victims. Why did he take the time to bring those two? He was probably before a psychotic break came full blown. He knew them personally. He probably even cared about them. Oh no. Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Albert uh. Einstein. Stupid kids. You must be Megan Markayla. I'm Paige, Bobby's mom. Sorry I'm late. You guys ready for the show? Totally. Hop in. You both look great. So that's going to be the finale. <laughs> so stupid. Absolutely stupid. Um, so I have a murder charge, 15, 25 years, 9 counts. That's 135 years for him. Uh, he's going to be in a hospital. Uh, the real question, especially with cases like this, is you need to reintroduce that med medication. Um... And that's going to be a long-term process of rehabilitating and uh, helping. Uh, I, I think there's probably some more trauma going on in there. Uh, and then, especially 
I think when you reintroduce the medicine and then he fully becomes aware of the actions and what has has happened. I I would say there's a possibility of being reintroduced into society at some point. Uh, it would be a long process, a possible outcome, but a long process. So uh, it, it's it's just a, it would be a, we'll see kind of situation. Massive monitoring. Uh, even when he would be let out, he'd need to be checked up on and check in in places and, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Finale of Season 10 coming up next. See y'all next time.